to launch Stingray. Half hour. Charge for say. Back him up here, sir. Okay, Laredo. I guess there's another few thousand tons of cobalt 15 loosened from the reefs. Call up the drag sweepers and get the mineral aboard for processing. Hold it, Mr. Cousin. I'm getting an underwater sounding. Sure sounds strange. But I'm not taking any chances. That Cobalt 15 ore is worth a small fortune. Call up the Guard Patrol submarine to take a look. HQ to Guard Sub. Come in, Captain Shore. Shore to mining HQ. Okay, I picked up the object signal. Commencing search of the area. Security Patrol HQ from shore. I'm engaging unidentified hostile craft, which has made devastating attack on mining stage. The last thing I do, I'll blast it out of the sea. nightmare, Atlanta. I'm sorry I woke you. Was it about the same thing? Yeah. The submarine wreck. The same old nightmare. Father, wouldn't you like to talk about it to Troy? I could call him. I know he'd be only too happy to help. Help? I don't want any help. Now, now, let me get some sleep. But, Father... Forget it, Atlanta. I just don't want to talk about it. Sad. Troy, 
sorry to disturb you, but this is important. Oh, that's okay, honey. What can I do for you? It's Father, Troy. He's had another nightmare. Could you come over and talk to him? Why, sure, Atlanta. But it's not like the commander to worry about bad dreams. I'm the one that's worried, Troy. You see, Father doesn't know I'm calling you. Okay, I'll be over in five minutes. Can't a guy have a private nightmare in peace without everyone rushing into his bedroom? But Atlanta was worried, sir. From what she's told me, this nightmare keeps recurring. Listen, Tempest, will you stop acting and talking like a doctor and get out of my room? Really, Father, there's no need to shout at Troy. I called him, remember? It's not his fault. Maybe just talking about this dream will help, Commander. Now, Atlanta's filled me in on some of the story, sir. How you were crippled in that sub-disaster and about the mysterious underwater craft. Yeah, well, all that was five years ago. I shook off the dream some time back, but now I'm getting it again. Let's see. You were guarding a cobalt mining stage, weren't you? That's right, Troy. Cobalt-15 was considered a very valuable mineral then. It still is, Atlanta. Only the other day, another platform was completed to start mining again. Say, that could be the answer. This new platform has sparked off the nightmare again. Yeah, yeah, you could be right. Father, why don't you tell Troy the rest of the story about what happened after the explosion? Well, okay. You see, it was like this. I was kind of delirious when I surfaced. Then I must have passed out completely because the next thing I remember, I was lying in a, a life raft in the middle of the ocean. I tried to figure how I'd gotten there. Then at the other end of the raft, I saw a strange man. At first, I thought it must be the pilot of the other ship, the one I'd rammed. Somehow, I couldn't believe it. This was the face of a kind, good man. Certainly no enemy. But soon, everything went hazy again, and I passed out. When I came around again, I could make out a coastline. It was night, and that guy was still paddling. He must have rode me miles to reach land. Well, he gave a sort of half smile and waved his hand. And I lost consciousness for a moment. But when I came to again, I was alone. The guy had gone. I heard a muffled splash and felt the dinghy drifting towards the coast. I ended up in hospital in Ecuador. And that's about it. And you've no idea who the guy was? No, Troy. But one thing I do know, he saved my life. Father and I talk about him sometimes. We call him the ghost of the sea. Are you absolutely sure, sir, that it wasn't that pilot? Well, of course, it's possible, Troy, but why save my life after trying to destroy it? I don't know, sir. I just don't know. Sir, Marina, you all set? Ready, Troy. Let's get underway. Release injector tube. Release injector tube. Tower from Stingray, ready for launch. Stingray, you are clear to go. Thanks, honey. Okay, release elevators. Release elevators. Stingray, Seaborn, rate one acceleration. Okay, Troy, proceed at full speed to mining stage. Position south-southwest, 1300, reference eight. Good luck with the ghost hunting. Thanks, Atlanta. Approaching mining stage, Troy. Okay, phones. How about a Commander? Shall we surface? Yeah, let's take a look at the platform. I can't wait to see the new one they've built. Stand by to surface. Hold it, Troy. I'm picking up a sounding from another craft. Get onto it, Phones. Check it out. It's 
quite a small craft. Yeah, I have it. It's just out of range of our missiles. Green, 8-0. She's moving in fast. The mining platform, it's being bombarded. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. It's the nightmare all over again. Not quite, Commander. This is really happening, and Stingray's around this time. That craft is turning, Troy. Well, she's making a break for it. Get after it, and don't lose it. Okay, sir. Aquasting number one, green eight zero. Aquasting one, green eight zero. That's moved it, Troy. Keep after her. Aquasting 2, red 129. Aquasting 2, red 129. We got her! Yeah! But she's still going. She's heading for that cave. Stingray would never get in there. I'll have to follow in my diving gear. Phones drop Stingray on the ocean floor. Okay, so. Better take Marina, Troy. This part of the ocean is littered with giant crawling clams. Look, there's one. If you get your leg trapped in that for any length of time, you're as good as dead. Marina will be able to steer you clear of them. One man craft and the bird has flown. Get out of here fast, Marina. This craft's going to explode.
about now, sir. Gee, that was close. What happened, Troy? We heard the explosion. Oh, the crewman got out before we could catch him. There must be another exit to that cave. Okay, we'll search the area. Right. <laughs> There he is. He's trapped in one of those giant clams. We've got to save him. You'll have to destroy the constrictor muscles to release the grip. Let's get a closer look at him. Take over, Bones. I'm going to rescue him. Take a look at his face, Troy. It's him. It's the guy who rescued me, Troy. The ghost of the sea. Bones, take us in, nice and close. But, Troy, you're not going out there. It's crazy. You kill yourself. Those clams... Eh? Look, there's a guy out there that needs help. We owe him his life. You mean I owe him his life? I'm only sorry I gotta leave this to you, Troy. But good luck, and thanks. Marina, you stay here. This time, I'm going alone. Letting him go. He's what? What's the matter with that guy? Has he gone crazy? Captain Troy Tempest, return to Stingray immediately. I want an explanation, and it better be good. I went out to rescue this man. You would have liked to have done this yourself, so the decision I made was for you. If it was wrong, I take full responsibility. If you treat people right, it usually pays off. Troy, I'm picking up a craft on sound scan. Green nine zero. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I am. And you'd better get to the controls, but fast. What were you saying about treating people right? See what happens when you give a guy a break? I can see him. It looks like your friend has returned in another craft. Fire Sting Missile One, Green 75. Hold it, Troy. The enemy craft is signaling an international code. Well, let's see. It says. Regret attacks on mining vessels. Wish to establish peaceful relationship with Terranians to whom I owe my life. Well, Troy, looks like we made the right decision after all. Yep, I guess we did. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
for special behind-the-scenes looks at the making of each astonishing chapter. Impressive. You can't see it anywhere else. Don't miss Star Wars, the ultimate experience. 7 p.m. Eastern, Sci-Fi Friday. before we shot the ballet. Irwin had the cast go to this gathering and his champagne was blowing <laughs> the next day. Oh, I didn't feel very good. And it was not the best ballet. <laughs> I'm hanging onto the bars going, oh. <laughs> this remarkable...